Tell me, first of all, Philbeck, and, and what you guys do and sort of where you sit in the ecosystem of, of the entertainment world. Sure. Well, we're um, using the reach of the internet to create, um, uh, to build an online community uh, of artists from around the world, um, aspiring writers and, and directors um, who we are leveraging for the creation of, um, of content short form content um, for a variety of different platforms. And who are these artists and how do you find them and how do you select them? Well, actually they're artists all over the world, literally. Yeah. Um, we were in beta for a little over a year. Uh, we went live about a month ago. We've got uh, 6,500 members, um, 4,000 of whom uh, actively contribute. Uh, uh, and those uh, members are uh, come from 117 different countries, and these are people who are interested in having careers uh, in the entertainment business uh, in terms of being content creators that heretofore just simply don't have the access. So the content is short form, episodic. What's sort of the scope of the uh, media that you're? It, it, it's really a combination of, of all of the above. It, it starts in short form. It starts in in three minute uh, films that are submitted, uh, which we then have the ability to order to series on the web, um, but also have the ability to take ideas and to upsell them to legacy media to turn them into television shows or to turn them into motion pictures, which is you know, precisely what we're doing with the winner of the first annual Filmmaker Film Festival contest. Okay, tell us about the contest, uh, a please. A 22-year-old um, uh, from London who'd never directed a full-length feature film before in his life will now actually have an opportunity to do so, and that was the promise of the original Filmmaker competition. Now what we've done is we've taken that initial competition and we've expanded it into a number of different competitions. We just finished a competition with the cable network FX. They were looking to come up with ideas for a new sitcom that could play in conjunction with It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And they felt like this was a wonderful opportunity to identify fresh young voices and, and innovative ideas and to do so in a more economic way uh, with lower development and production costs. So Sandy, are you guys acting as sort of an agent or a producer or, you know, fill us in on sort of what your business model um, is and you know, what you do. You know, we're all about discovering talent. Yeah. Um, we do have a management function within Filmmaker. We also have an arrangement with the William Morris Agency who represents us. They have a first look at um, uh, the finalists of our annual film competition. Uh, so, uh, you know, and we'll, we can conduct ourselves as a studio where we actually finance web-based series or we can just revert back to executive producers where we take an episodic fee and, and we have a piece of the back end of a show, which is precisely what we're doing in the case of FX. So in the, uh, in the old days, whatever, in your previous life at Fox, you uh, had to have a big hit and there was a big demand. What is the sort of the metric or expectation <laughs> of what a hit is? in your new company and uh, you know and it, it, it means something different I'm sure well look you know what um, I, I think that's a uh, an unanswerable question you know at this point uh, obviously you know you look to create a cultural phenomenon you know you look to create that thing that everybody talks about um, and that even the, the, the cable and television networks look at and say maybe this is worth turning into a television show um, but, you know, really our goal at this point, our number one goal, is to figure out interesting ways to engage the big brands in this company. I think, you know, what we've seen in, in the announcement in the last 24 hours that the advertising industry has plunked down another $9.2 billion against network television is, is an example of, of the fact that uh, those of us working in new media on the web have not really yet figured out a way to make it easy for advertisers to spend money there. Um, I don't believe they're spending money on, on broadcast television because they have a high degree of confidence in broadcast television. I think they're doing it out of a sense of fear. And to be fair, broadcast television still has a way of aggregating you know, a certain number of eyeballs and that's what advertisers are all about. Uh, and so our mission, our number one mission in life at Filmmaker is, is to put together 
uh, a package, if you will, to put before big brands that will help them understand the value that we can bring to them uh, and the eyeballs that we're capable of bringing to them as well. Now, we're not a destination site. We're hyper syndicators, but we're in the process of doing some really interesting distribution deals with some verticals. Uh, and so uh, the combination of getting these young, aspiring writers and directors from around the world who are also voracious consumers of digital media, who also consume the goods and services that a lot of these brands are, are actually selling, um, are, um, is a very interesting way for, for advertisers to solicit and receive short form content that involves product integration or not, but that is in fact branded entertainment.